the salutations everyone it's time once again for another road most followed video this time we're going to be doing a vault of night raid um yeah it's been a while since i've done one of these where i'm supposed to be the person in charge of what's going on so hopefully i can remember all the bits and bobs and pieces and things oh i don't want this wand of necrotic touch i want the want the voice or something yeah the speaking stones give me this voice i want it all right so I kind of mentioned this a second ago, but we have Tobrell, Four Hands, Beef, and myself. I'm, of course, not on the classic Road Most Followed build, but that's okay. It is what it is. All right, lads. Let's go get us, uh, go get us some containers, right? Ring and other containers. Big boy booms. Uh, of course, in an ideal situation, you'll have a, a trapper with you that can jump around and leap around and do all sorts of things. Uh, this trap box is located on the opposite side here. Don't know if Forehand can do the traps or not. But uh, if he can, we'll take a look at them in a moment. Otherwise, we're going to, to do our best to kind of use our knock spell to get things done. Were you there? Someone decided to give me kisses. It's like uh, 48 plus 18 knocks the doors for those of you who are counting. Alright, so there's a couple of helpful items in this quest uh, that they give you at the beginning. The, uh, s the voice is something that you need to have to be able to complete the quest. Um, there's a scepter, which I think removes the special curse that you get from these guys touching you, these undead touching you. And uh, I honestly don't remember what the other one is. Right here is what I consider usually the most difficult part of this quest. Making sure that somebody who has the voice and the signet ring together. Is that fair? It's probably not very fair. Okay. So we have an interesting little uh, situation right here in this room behind the secret door. Each of these pillars has a trap box on them. <laughs> to be able to get this treasure chest it's a lot easier if you disarm all the traps on these pillars apparently beef is showing off some hit points there uh, also there's a secret door behind uh, this bookshelf with a you get locked into a little fight apparently we don't have the ability to, to, to search that door out uh, but there's also a shrine there Oh, hey, I guess Tobrell and I can take this D-door. Anyway, welcome everyone who's uh, joining us live on the Twitch channel. Appreciate you. Um, Dirge of Karna rings. Fully at ease in a heady place. Who's this guy? He doesn't do anything. So, I take it back. There's just two items. A wand and a... And the voice, I guess. The machinery below must still be active. This bridge is still What? I like this. I like this thing's living through my through my tech. are busy. Ooh, sort of shadow scroll. Nice.
Fabrell says, uh, he's calling a Sword of Shadow Shard in the raid. It's interesting. Hopefully. I'd like to have, uh, have one someday. So this is, uh, well, I don't know, uh, typically a Tobrel job, although it looks like beef is on it today. Uh, there's a little puzzle right here to, uh, to be solved, and as the people move along and, and uh, the pathways open, uh, these force fields will drop and enemies will continuously spawn. So it's not uncommon for certain groups to leave people in here for uh, to kill these spawns just to kind of work on getting uh, oh what is it called not slayer onslaught onslaught the various uh, killing bonuses. Conquest, there we go. Conquest, Onslaught, again, the, the various bonuses. So what I'll do is I'll back up here and kind of walk everyone through how they've they've done the puzzle thus far. There's a, you know, you can watch the, the wiki, or take a look at the wiki. I'm pretty sure there's a, a good way to do the puzzle there as well, so... Um, you don't necessarily need to do it exactly this way. I think there's a couple of minor variations, but it's, it's very similar to this. But again, the general idea is you gotta light these runes. And uh, I guess we'll keep walking up here. Light the, light the four runes and uh, the one down at the end for the at the face. This will be important later. We'll be coming back here to um, We'll be coming back here for some uh, story stuff later. Meanwhile, you guys heading back to the beginning? Or are you going to clear the rest of the stuff the other direction first? Everything's clear. We've got to go north. Okay. If that is the case. We can't go anywhere else until we do the north. If that is the case, I'm just going to detour back. I thought forehand did these traps. He did not. I cannot do yeah, the traps. Yeah, he said he couldn't. Alright, so whoever has the voice and the, um, and the, and the ring, the signet ring, has to go on, uh, the left side here. And then the idea is that, uh, enough people can work all of these switches and levers together. There's usually some amount of counting down. So, forehand, do you want to go to the right side to help out Tobrel, please? Yes, I will try. Give me a second. Also, I have my letter out. Or my throwing weapon. Well, I get a res. I don't know. Tobrel linked a whole lot of... You can get some broccoli juice. <laughs> oh, thank you, broccoli juice. Alright, are we ready? Yeah, which one are you pulling? I'll I'll throw. Or I want right. me to I can work on this wisdom room possibly. Yeah, I can do the wisdom room. Alright. One, two, three, go. Who 
Who who didn't do it? Okay, let's get the dog. See if he can do the do the lever over here. All right, we ready? Try again. One, two, three, go. There we go. Good job, everybody. Second time's the charm. Uh oh. Beef's PPAing people now. Yeah, my sword does that. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Well, I guess they get to show off how people can go reopen the door. I decided to jump off the edge like a crazy person. And I'm needed on that side. Whatever. Let's run around that way. So if you make a foolish mistake like I just did, you can uh, go back through to the beginning and uh, and just run back around. There's a there's a lever on the inside that can be repulled to let you in. Only if I'm feeling generous. <laughs> There's also like a really weird way that you can jump through, but I'm uh, jump back over to the other side. I really rusty and haven't done it in a long time. Thanks, B. Why don't you let me hop over there? Yeah. Well, I didn't really intend to jump over there in the first place, <laughs> but I appreciate it. So what Beef's doing is going in here to work the lever and lowers this. Uh, this shield and then that lever lowers that shield over there but it's not really that necessary because you can typically jump over a feather fall or a leaf or whatever Right, so that lever behind us is a strength lever. Uh, once we do the next bit of the puzzle, someone needs to go back and pull the strength lever there, as well as a strength lever on this side right below us. So uh, if you're the strength person, you need to be careful and make sure that you don't fall down until a little bit later when you're needed here. We'll, we'll talk about that again as we come up to it. far more important at uh, lower levels when not everyone has the strength requirement. Does anyone remember off the top of their heads what the strength number is? Is it 23? 25. 25? 23 wisdom. 25 strength. 23 wisdom. I thought one of them was 23. So this is what the signet, sig, signet ring is for. It lowers the force field here. And if I remember right, each of these are four turns. Is that correct? There are the plates scattered around. You can look them up. They're in the quest. It tells you what the, what the symbols are supposed to be, if you don't know. Or, of course, you could look it up on the wiki. Yeah. Or any puzzle solver app. So now that we've turned those two, uh, four times, we go over here and talk to this 
speaking stone. We say, my name is Otto Knucklebones. And we find out what tasks are available, and then we, we click through both tasks. So that was the first one. There's the second one. So we make sure that we give it all the possible commands. And again, that's something that the person that has the voice has to do. So we need the signet ring to lower the force field and the voice to uh, be able to talk to the different speaking heads. So then, once they're done, someone has to come back over here and pull the strength lever. I did that. Which is a done, as you can tell. But I do need Tabrello or Forehand to come over here and open this other door. Otherwise I'm stuck. Well, while we wait for them, we can at least open this chest. side you know what they're doing oh boy yeah that's right said it all <laughs> oh so what's going on on over here on this side is um it's like a couple of golems if i remember right like two golems or Maybe four golems. A smattering of Warforged. Yeah, and a, and a handful of Warforged. And uh, basically they just need to get that cleared up. And I maybe, maybe a couple of Dwarf Rogues. Yeah, some, some miscellaneous trash. And then, then this lever needs pulled. And then I will summon a D... Oh, I guess we still got a robot to kill. And I'll cast the dimensional door. Otherwise, you can just run back through the traps and stuff. All right. So now that we're back at the beginning, we have the various portals taken care of and activated. We now need to go back to the west and the east and uh, do the various uh, shenanigans that are involved over here. So when we are to the west, we need to uh, go down this big hole in the ground and talk to the portal, or talk to the face, so I'll go ahead that direction. Boink. Same thing, basically, we're auto knuckle bones. What task can you perform? Activate the west column. Then uh, run back up. There's a some undead may or may not follow you, or you may or may not want to kill on the way. However, however you like to get things done. And then while we're over here on this side, we're picking up a I believe it's a pure adamantine coffer. Or an adamantine bound coffer, sorry. Once we pick that bad boy up, shenanigans will occur. These uh, guard golems will wake up and try to hurt us. When they're all defeated, we'll be allowed to pick up the container. Explain why you didn't have your picture on the. Why? Well, it's broken right now, and I'm not sure why it's broken, but it is. So that's that's what we're getting. Well, there's also the chest over here. Find the secret door. Yeah, you can't get that chest until after you pick up the coffer. Oh, really? I thought you could, as long as you can open that. Uh, the no, it has like a force field in front of it. You can get to the shrine, but not the chest. Oh, that's correct. That's correct. I still can't search this door out. But Tobrel can. So, this is obviously a little bit of an ambush. 
when the uh, when the chest gets opened. They'll uh, lock you in, as you saw, and then... Alright. And we cast D-Door again. Again, we made sure that we had the, the container before we did that. And we're heading back to the east side. There will be a... Deluxe apartment in the sky. There will be a, the disposal speaking stone here. We're going to feed it the coffer. And then we're going to go ahead and talk. go back to the puzzle room. Meanwhile, usually a large group of people are going to go back to the north again by this side and start cleaning out bunch of trash there'll be an extra chest we'll, we'll do our best to kind of show off that area and uh there'll be a big rust monster fight that'll you'll get locked in and uh, that rust monster will have uh will drop a key when it's defeated uh, crystal, crystal key. key crystal the key. crystal master key And that's going to let us up into the end area. And we do all the tasks that we're allowed to do. Make sure that I did it the bottom one. doesn't want to get gone. There we go. We're going to go play catch up to the rest of the group. Tabrell has acquired a scroll of the warding shield. I think that's a sign that it's time for him to build a sword and board paladin. This corridor descends into the lowest reaches of the vault, where its most basic functions are maintained. Fr friends don't let friends play Vanguard. Here's uh, another locked door, by the way. Oh. That's true, that's true. So, and if you can't just open this door, that's the reason why Tobrell is doing stuff, is uh, there's a key right there, it's highlighted, in the lava that opens this door. In the event that you overwhelmingly decide to like jump in lava and swim around. But you have to be able to pick locks to do the rest of the quest, so I don't know why that one key is hidden. It seems weird to me. Come on in, four hands are waiting on you. No, oh, the they're thing. here to kill me! <laughs> right. Inevitably, I always feel like this room is one of the laggiest rooms in the quest. Uh, with all the jumps and whatnot. And these guys ambush after a... I thought they just were a walk-by ambush. Oh, I brought you guys some some uh, some land lobsters. Here's that uh, giant rust monster we were talking about a minute ago. So you can see this is the room right underneath where uh, where we disposed of that copper. Crystal key in our backpack. And then we take a, the D door back to the beginning of the quest. 
God. Did you just teleport out? Yes. Why? I hit the wrong uh, uh, button. I saw you casting a spell. I was like, what is he casting? That is a long cast time. It's up in D door. I have it in the wrong location. We're only, we're only in a lead. You can come back in. I know it. All right, so this area is a little bit tricky to kind of explain, uh, but there are four levers down at the bottom, and when they're pulled basically at the same time, somebody is going to be catapulted very high up into the sky and try to uh, pull a lever that will start lowering things. So I'm going to renew my various resistances here and then be ready. Are you guys ready down below? Oh, they're waiting on me, probably. No, we can do it with just two. Alright, go ahead. Count us down. Uh, three, two, one, go. Alright, I'm gonna jump back off here and heal. The bro was slow. Let me know when you guys have reset. We're ready. Alright. Three, two, one, go. Alright, I'm gonna jump back off and reheal again. Should we wait for forehand after all? One more time. Alright. Three, two, one, go. Healing again. Yeah, Terrell's too slow again. Terrell's my hero. Glad I bought these extra heal scrolls before I came in. You guys ready to try again? Yep. Three, two, one, go. healing up again. I will be there <laughs> in another 30 uh, uh, less than a minute. Oh my goodness. Little does he know dear viewer that this is our plan to char royal Samus. <laughs> That's what time. it feels like. It's exactly we what it feels like. We invited Samus to a cookout and he's the main course. Oh my gosh. I'm just waiting for me not to jump off in time and just get murdered on this pipe and you guys all laugh at me. You guys ready to try? Oh, Tobrel swimming in lava. You ready to try again, Tobrel? All right, three, two, one, go. All right, I'm back off again. Okay. All right, three, two, one, go. It's really not as hard as, it's get, as it seems right now, folks, I swear. Pick a lever that you're gonna pull for him. I got the dog on to pull the other one. Okay. Let's count down. Okay. Three, two, one, pull, please. That should have done it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm trying to. Oh, it uh, switched weirdly. All right, give me one more shot, please, folks. Oh, you failed. Huh? I failed this time. Yep. It took way too much damage on there. All right, three, two, one, pull. Don't jump on until. Yeah, I'll wait. Now. There. It is. Oh, yeah. There we go. I love it when that little, like, being hurled in the air lag hits. Alright, Foran, stand on my shoulders and I'll throw you up there. 
You could, probably could. <laughs> Just one second. All of my crew's gone. I'll throw you. Okay. Let me see. Which lever is it? This lever? Is that the correct lever for you guys? I think so, right? Yep, it was. Alright, so... Now, we could go this way, but there's like... Traps and fighting and ambushes and things. Go ahead, buddy. I'll pick up your stone when you die. <laughs> um, but also, you can... Like, leap around and jump up here. And get onto this ladder. With your feather fall and your jump spell. You can also get it from right where I'm standing if you have enough jump. Correct, from on top of that little pipe. And there's a lever right above that door or above that ladder that loads the rest of the way. Here, it's kind of fun. You have to hit both of these levers at the same time with the ranged weapon, it'll come down. But, the animation in this tends to be a little bit wonky. So, if you're the first person to walk across, kind of hop it, hop it across the middle. Because, uh, in my experience, you can fall through that bridge pretty easily. I don't know if everyone else has got that experience. I, I have fallen through before. I have fallen through. If they'd watch the broadcast again, they will see us all leaping across the bridge first time we get on. Yep. Everybody, everybody frogs across for a reason. You can also fall through the bridge in the quest Creeping Death the same way, but that instantly kills you if you fall through that one. Alright, so again we have a couple of doors that need to be opened. You can knock it if you have a good knock. The last one from here. And then once that last door is open, then all these traps will go down. And this is where everyone spends like five minutes making sure that everybody's in and everyone's ready to go. But since there's just a few of us, it's not such a big deal. So now is when everyone goes voices, 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 and makes all the words, and you complete the quest. So be careful here that you don't click into the next zone yet. So you can be sure to get your token of the 12 and whatnot. And this is next, usually where people start talking about bases and strategies for the next quest. The next quest has got a... Um, you'll see what it is in a second. We'll kind of discuss it, but it's on a timer. <laughs> All right, Tobrella's going to one, Beef is going to two. I guess that puts me on three. Now, which one do you consider... Base. Which one do you guys consider one, two, and three? Are we playing two. American baseball? Two is the one that's opposite from where we are. So I have to go the farthest. Okay. So it doesn't matter which way around the circle you go. <laughs> Two is the farthest one. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, take a second and kind of describe, describe this. This is a big diamond. Um, unfortunately, the map doesn't really show. But this is it's basically a big diamond, and we are at at one, one end of the diamond. If you go to the, to the right, this first base, as they like to put it, this area, you can see where the fire is kind of going out to the different sides. This is a, uh, to the right will be a fire elemental. To, to the, the right is also the moon. Also the moon, correct. To the left is ice, ice elementals and ice winders. And then the back, the furthest one away, which apparently is beef's base, is um, like air methods. 
Um, as you clear that base, a genie will pop out. And you defeat the genies. And it'll lower a force field around the pillars where all these fire jets are going to. And then at the roughly, within what, 20 seconds or so, everybody's pillars have to be uh, reduced to zero hit points. And what that's going to do is it's going to release the force field so we can go in and fight the dragon. Does that sum it up pretty well, Beef? Uh, the pillars also have like DR 500 bludgeoning. So you have to have bludgeoning or untyped damage to be able to hurt them. Correct. All right. So I guess I'm going to the ice side. Sounds good. Make sure I drink my freedom of movement potion. I'm going to let Beef go first. So he drags the initial aggro of the flinzers. Uh, you don't want to fall down. If you fall down, you uh, land in the marketplace with a very big thud. Yay! Oh, teleported me back. I forgot he could do that. Hey, thank you very much, Lord Duke, for the for the subscription, my friend. Appreciate you. Right, so I'm gonna go over here and tap this pillar a few times with my club. People and ready? See the hit points up there on the top of the pillar, so he can. Uh, uh, are you ready? So you know where are you? How many? Our pillar's down. All right. We're waiting on me, I guess. I'm gonna feed our back. Then there's the dragon coming down from the sky. Uh, also, you'll notice that uh, she's lovely enough to throw fire at the bridges for you guys. It's pretty sweet of her. She thinks you're cold. The longer and... you stay in here, her fire will degrade the bridges to where they're like things you have to jump across. So you can want to do that part very fast if you can. All right. So another thing that's going to happen here is uh, let's see if I can. Wait a second, just kind of show what's going on. But uh, if you pay attention to her nose, you're going to see puffs of smoke coming out. And that is a warning that she's going to breathe fire. Okay, there we go. There's the fire. So here in a second, normally you would call Inferno, and then you'd come stand behind these rocks. And she's going to breathe fire. It goes all the way back one way, and then all the way back the other way. You want to be really careful on that. Um, it's a good way to get your murdered. Uh, get your murdered by the fire. So there's also the ads, and then there's the eggs thing. Oh, that's true. Um, so it's miscellaneous trash. All right, Inferno again. I'm gonna go stand by the rock. There she goes. All right, and then uh, between waves, in um, Epic anyway, we're going to get potentially eggs and uh, fire elementals from those eggs. If I remember right, the eggs, uh, if you hit them, will give you mana back. Yeah, that's right. Um, it's been a little while since I've, had a, I've done this quest on, on Epic instead of just regular leads. Um, and if you don't kill them quick enough, they turn into fire elementals. Looks like she's about ready to vomit again on us. Eggs are up. Yeah, kill, kill an egg, you should get your some sort of resistance weapons back. There we go. She's oh. down. I think 
guess somebody killed that girl. Sorry, that wasn't me. All right, then you get four sexy chests. This is the important one, if I remember correctly. Cabral says not one, it. This one's the epic one, so it has the tokens and the oh, okay. this is the stuff token like one. that. And this, this one has the, the raid loot. The heroic raid loot. Cabral's got all sorts of, like... Um, superstition floating around here. He's typing last and not it in the, the chat quite viciously. Ooh, a hammer of life. Look at us. A delving suit. Two items for four people? Pretty good. Not bad. Does anyone happen to want a hammer of life for some reason? Here's a restoration glicky, I guess. I also got the uh, rune on it. Oh yeah, three, and the discipline. Three items out of four people, pretty good. That is really good, actually. Is that a no? Here, I'm just going to pass it beforehand. Uh, the other special thing to keep in mind is that these will drop greater tokens of the 12, and you'll need those for... Like if you want to make a trinket, or a, yeah, the trinket for the voice of, from the voice of the master, you'll need uh, greater tokens of the twelve. This is a good one to uh, to get into um, to be able to uh, to build your thing. Also on elite, you'll be able to get the flawless red dragon scales, which you can turn in to make a dragon dragon suit of armor. The original OG OG dragon armor. All right. Well, with that, everybody, that's that's basically Bond five and six. Uh, there's not that many changes that are different between heroic and um, elite, uh, except again, the infight's a little easier. You don't have to deal with the eggs and the fire elementals, um, and obviously things hit a little bit a little bit less difficult. Um, Anything else that we kind of forgot, chat and or people in the people in the group here that we didn't cover that we probably should have? No. I suppose if you do get knocked off the bridge, there's a, I should mention, there's a little island in the very middle, like right underneath where we fought her. And I believe a D-door pops up there at the end that you can take um, to get back to the, the beginning area where you door into oh the when you're fighting her it locks people out i remember yes. that yeah that's the other thing once uh you'll notice that we all kind of paused there just a little bit on that little bridge area till we made sure we were all in and the reason why is a few a uh, few seconds after everyone kind of goes past onto the actual rock area uh that there'll be a force field that pops up behind so if, if somebody doesn't make it in um then they are locked out of being able to help with the fight and that the previous quest, the the flagging quest, when you go to fight the golems at the very end, that locks the locks the thing, so nobody else that's not in that room, you can't get into the raid if you're not in the room. There you go. All right, well, I think that basically sums up Vaughn 5 and 6 for you. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button or leave a comment. It doesn't matter. As long as you're interacting with the video in some way, I get credit, so I appreciate that. Don't forget to check out my live streams at twitch.tv slash Samus Garobo, and uh, we'll see you guys real soon. Toodles.